With the announcement of the DMP A8, Eversolo is back at shaking up the world of hi-fi audio once again. With a bunch of new features, how does the streamer hold up against the Eversolo A6? In our video today, we're going to compare the two streamers side by side to see which one would be the better pick. So without further ado, let's begin. Are you struggling to explain your idea? Your audience is not getting what you're trying to say. An animated explainer video is a perfect solution for you. Explainer video simplifies any complex ideas through engaging animations, transitions, voiceovers, and meaningful scripts, which all together create a fun experience for any viewer. And here comes Ten Studio, a team of skilled professionals dedicated to creating engaging explainer videos. With over thousands completed projects, we have the expertise to create explainer videos that break down your message and connect with your audience. Get in touch with Ten Studio today. The DMP A8 from Eversolo is crafted from aviation aluminum and features an NC machined body that provides a solid level of construction. The brushed panel alongside the frosted anodized body showcases a great combination of classic and modern elements that both beginners and experts would greatly appreciate. The A8 comes equipped with a large 6 inch high definition LCD touchscreen and a professionally tailored system. The UI is simple yet elegant and comes with relatively intuitive on-screen touch controls to tinker with system settings, the local music library, and third-party apps, all wrapped in a seamless interactive experience. The A6, however, looks better in real life and comes crafted with thick aluminum and a high-quality finish that gives off a completely justified impression of a premium product. Enshrouded by a clean and sharp yet minimal aesthetic, the tempered glass-covered LCD stretches from top to bottom, which can be utilized to browse the menus and read up to four different VU meters. The DMP A8 can be utilized as a full-fledged digital turntable in order to connect with a bunch of high-end DACs such as HDMI IIS, USB, optical, and coaxial outputs. As a dedicated DAC, the A8 is compatible with a diversified array of inputs like two coaxial, two optical, and a USB input to connect with PC or mobile devices. Now as a high-performance preamp, the A8 supports analog inputs like XLR and RCA, alongside APTX HD Bluetooth audio input, which makes it effortless to connect with a ton of digital audio sources. On the flip side, the A6 comes in hot with a ton of connectivity options as well, since you can connect the A6 to your home network through Wi-Fi or LAN and utilize the onboard Bluetooth connectivity alongside an OTG USB 3.0 port. The bottom of the device also hides an SSD drive if you're into local storage with a capacity of up to 4 terabytes. With both digital and analog outputs, you'll have coaxial, optical, USB, HDMI, and a pair of single-ended RCA and balanced XLRs where both of these can be used as variable outputs, meaning you can directly connect the A6 to a power amp and control the volume output. The DMP A8 gives you access to popular music streaming platforms and web radio stations such as Tidal, Cobuzz, Deezer, Amazon Music, Apple Music, hi res Audio, and Paradise Radio, which pretty much gives you boundless access to music. The A8 also comes with full support for Tidal Connect and DLNA protocols which makes it easy to enjoy music from a streaming application over a local network, all while keeping the audio quality in check. You're also getting a dedicated app that apart from giving you a hand with basic playback controls and management of local system settings. As far as operating systems go, the A8 comes with its proprietary EverSolo original sampling rate audio engine operating system with full support for audio output regardless of the sampling rate. In layman's terms, you get the ability to completely bypass the SRC limitation on Android and tinker with audio transfer from third-party apps without the need to worry about dampening the quality. Also, you'll have a mobile control application for both Android and iOS, which assists in playback control and management of the local system settings, while allowing you to access streaming services through the interface directly. The A6, on the other hand, 
is based on the Android system that's been tinkered with to fit the needs of an audio streamer that works well while providing a set of rich options that add to the overall customization value. Customization such as turning off the LED around the knob, customizing what your display screen shows, or utilizing the four aforementioned VU meters is easily accessible. The Control app is available on both the Play Store and Apple Store, and comes with a clean and nice UI, alongside a slew of well-arranged options. The app gives you access to your music library, alongside Tidal and Cobuzz streaming services, while coming with support for UPnP Play, AirPlay, Tidal Connect, and of course, Spotify Connect. The DMP A8 comes with six digital filters with different modes to change the sound reproduction to the way you want. The streamer provides a ton of details in terms of measuring instruments and audio spectra, providing a soothing and comfortable visual experience. The DMP A8 provides full support for pretty much all available high-definition file formats, which include but are not limited to FLAC, WAV, APE, DSF, DFF, ISO, DST, as well as multi-channel streams and stereo. The DMP A6 provides a clean and precise sound as well, with super clean notes that possess crisp and well-defined edges. Regardless of the instrument playing, the A6 presented them with laser focus, all while outlining them clearly with noticeable tonal separation and clarity, without overstepping into excessive sharpness or an overexposed sound. With all that, you can get your hands on the DMP A8 for around $2,000, while the A6 will cost you about $900, cutting the price by more than an equal half. With the A8, for the price, you're getting a simple, minimalistic streamer with an outstanding build quality and a ton of I.O. options. The sound profile comes with an outstanding level of timbre and tonality, which represents the source's organic and natural presentation. However, if the price feels a bit too steep, which to be honest, it is for most people, you can always go for the A6, which cuts the price more than 50%, while ticking almost all the boxes and then some, providing a streamer that's feature-rich, well-thought-out, and just plain wonderful. Whatever the case may be, do let us know which one you went with, as we'd love to hear from you. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.